Good morning. My name is Bill Roney. Today is brought to you by water. We all need it. All right. Um, needs an assessment. Uh, that's care of our textbook. Oh. And looking at the graph 3 2 as well as the reading in unit 3. It has some interesting material in it. But uh, I'm really happy I'm not into curriculum design. I'm, you know, I'm a teacher. I don't want to be stuck in the stuffy office. But uh, over the years, I do find that uh, there's no such thing as a perfect uh, curriculum design or textbook. There's different cultures that view different things differently. And then sometimes you kind of wonder, like, here I am teaching a middle school in Korea, and the textbook is asking about the person's dating life. First of all, they're middle school students. Secondly, that's, that's culturally inappropriate question to be asking. So when you're designing curriculums, you have to know you, who you're creating it for. So before you even get the needs analysis started, uh, one thing you need to know is, which in order to know which of the analysis you would utilize, you need to know who you're writing it for or what it's about. Is it for a university? Is it for public schools? Is it for after school program? Now, like universities, they gave gave some good examples of talking to the adjuncts, the professors, what finding out what the students need and what they want. You know, and I can also uh, not only talking to them about it, but uh, also questionnaires. The public schools or after school programs, you need to talk to the, either the owner of the, of the, the private school, the yeah, principals of the after school programs, public schools, to see what they're looking at, what the, uh, the curriculum criteria, the state laws, the providential laws, the federal laws, on what needs to be in there and then expand it by discussions with the teachers to see what they want added in. No, we won't be able to really question the students in the public school spectrum because, well, they got certain rules and regulations they have to follow behind. So, but you still might want to try to find stuff that's will appeal to them. So look what's being pop what's popular right now in the mainstream for whatever age you're working with. You can utilize that stuff. But you have to remember this textbook, what's popular here may not be popular there. Once again, back to the dating question for a middle school and cultural I issues. Now, all right, talk about the two of them of them ones I would Talk to the professors, talk to the teachers, ask questions, find out what's needed, look at the state, county mandates that need to be in, so you have that material included as the main st stuff, questionnaires for the university students, teachers that are going to be working with the textbook to see what they are wanting or needing. And Those are the ones I kind of keep focused on. But then once you start creating it, you have to analyze it and see what's appropriate, what's not. So as I was saying, there are a variety of different analysis. Uh, I usually use questionnaires myself and discuss find out what students have already learned and what's expected to be they're expected to learn by the end of that following school year or an after school program going from one level to the next level what they already know what they need to know and what they're going to be learning in the following that way not only are you utilizing the previous knowledge to teach the new knowledge but you're opening up to set up for the uh, what they're going to be learning in the next level or the next grade so you can have it set up so the teacher in the next level can use the previous 
knowledge, prior knowledge, from the previous courses to create their own curriculum design and how they want to run and operate their class. And hopefully they will expand it to what's going to be learned further on. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, I never do seem to do these pretty well, but I hope we uh, can hear some of yours and get some uh, more knowledge and good, better ideas to add to my personal library. Thank you very much.